Hey everyone, Eugene Fedorovsky from eugenefedorovsky.com. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. I hope you're crushing it in your network marketing business. And today, I have a question for you. Is there ever a time that prospecting is optional? Stay tuned and I'll share with you my take on the subject. One of the major tips that I got from two weeks ago at the Top Earner Club Mastermind. And that tip is prospecting is non-negotiable if you want success in your network marketing business. Now, this came to me as a major surprise and because up until that weekend, I was under the impression that those that are really good at recruiting did it because they, they like it. I personally do not like recruiting. I know how important it is, but because I do enjoy my job and I feel that my marketing is working, so I don't necessarily go out of my way to prospect. If I'm out, if I see someone who get, gives me great service or I see a sharp individual, I'll definitely prospect them, I'll definitely speak with them, but I don't go out of my way to go specifically and prospect and whatnot. <clears throat> So when at the Top Earning Club Mastermind, we had a chance to stand up in front of our peers and give a presentation on what it is that, our, that we've been winning at and the things that we're struggling in. And one of the things that I was slightly confused on, I don't like this, that big C word confused, but it was, it was a little weird for me. Uh, was that on how important prospecting really is. Because I know that there are two ways to grow your network marketing business. That's marketing, which is passive, and it's prospecting, which is active. Prospecting is you going out and reaching out to an individual. Marketing is you putting out value to attract an audience. So back to prospecting. So I mentioned the bit I had about prospecting and to my surprise, several people raised their hand and we're talking about really successful network marketers. And they said that they didn't like prospecting either when they were starting to grow their team, but they did it anyway. And they, what they did was they looked for ways to limit the amount of prospecting they had to do by either growing their marketing, by improving in that, or by taprooting in their team what that means is once you have a team going, you reach out to your team members and then you work with them to get new people. So, and then look for leaders in your downline. But first you have to have a downline. First you have to have a team big enough in order to do that. So, and that came to me as a big surprise because up until that time, as I mentioned before, I was under the impression that whoever succeeded in network marketing did so because they enjoy recruiting and putting people in. I was wrong. People don't like it and they do it anyway. Now I heard another phrase, which I think I've heard before, embrace the suck. Yes, recruiting sucks. Yes, it's not a fun activity. It's not fun to hear people tell you no. But if you embrace it and you make it your goal to get as many no's as possible in one day or in one week or in one month, whatever you, however you set your goals, you will make your way to success. Now, at the end of the day, it all depends on how many eyeballs you're getting on the presentation. That is how you make money in network marketing, by having someone look at your presentation. So in essence, if your marketing covers that, if you have enough eyeballs taking a look at your presentation from marketing, great, then you don't have to prospect. But the key is most of us don't have that in place. Most of us are working on our marketing in order to get it to a point where it's going to be big on its own. But in, in the earlier stages, it's a very important to take marketing and supplement it with prospecting. Now, I don't believe you, can, you, you should be just focusing on one or the other because then you'll be leaving money on the table. The way I see it, when you start marketing and start building your own brand, 
you're not going to get results right away. And if you do, you're an anomaly. So it will take time. It could take six months, it could take a year, it could take two years. But in my eyes, I will do this despite all the obstacles and until I see the results that I want to see. So for me, this is not negotiable. The Facebook Lives I'm providing, not negotiable. The blog posts I'm doing, not negotiable. And I know that it will take a certain amount of time for me to grow my audience in order for me to be able to say, well, prospect really is optional for me. But at this point, I'm not. And if you take a look at your business, if you're stuck in your business, if you're not getting the results you want out of business, if you have been at the same rank you, for a long time and you really want to be at a different rank, then look at your prospecting and look at how many people you have looking at your presentation. Because like I said, at the end of the day, it all comes down to eyeballs on the presentation. Approaching someone to see if they're open to looking at your opportunity or product, sending them the information they need, and then speaking to them and closing them. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you did, please like, comment, and share. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who are like me and probably like you who hate prospecting, and they don't know that you don't have to like it in order to make it successful. If they're anything like me, they're probably thinking, well, if I don't like it, I'm not gonna do it. So if you share it, if you like it, if you comment, they may see it and it might change their perspective on business like it changed mine. So I'll leave you guys with that. If there is anything in particular you want me to talk at a future video, please feel free to reach out to me uh, by sending me a message. Feel free to visit my blog at www.eugenefedorovsky.com where you'll find videos like this one which I put out almost on a daily basis. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.